kind of see the Meta Center, University Meta Center. Oh, speaking of which, you guys heard um, U of A at the Butter Dome. They're going to start putting a bunch of beds at, or kind of makeshift clinics there for, for um, COVID relief. Yeah, yeah, but doing field clinics now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cuz oh. it's getting so the numbers are getting bad, but like yeah. how uh, how do you, how do you feel about going to a like a quarantine where you and all the other covid people are? How would you feel? Yeah. What the separation well, then, is. Like, all these people went in cuz they were sick and they're sick. A lot of people have other sicknesses and stuff too, so now yeah, you're quarantining with it's just a big disease bin, right? Yeah, you're bunking beside each other. Especially, I've been there before. Especially <laughs> when you all, especially when you're all getting better at like a different time. So exactly, yeah. you don't Wait. even know when they got it. Uh, hey Kyle, <laughs> what? butter or butter? Are you getting, getting butter, butter or butter? <laughs> and is, it, is it the is it the butter dome or the better dome? <laughs> better Are you gonna dome? get butter at the bu- better dome? Yeah. Hopefully, the better dome. <laughs> yeah. Am I gonna get butter at the better dome or better at the butter dome? <laughs> I was kind of wondering why they didn't do that earlier too, because I think in Wuhan when the numbers were spiking, they they made like they made like a huge like kind of mid- outdoor hospital within like a week. I think I, I I read, and they took care of like other patients and whatnot. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Canada in general, or just countries, are kind of waiting last minute to oh, create these. I see like countries like that, like China, they can like build a road. That like collapses in within a day. Yeah, shitty. Like yeah, everything because... so fast when they get everything everybody together. But like, yeah, man. But that's it... communist. If you don't do it, you get shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it doesn't matter if you're trained. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, you're scared. It doesn't you're, matter. Your brain isn't functioning when you're doing this stuff. Exactly. They're like, yo, you build a road. It, and then if you say no, well, then you die or whatever the consequences are. It's not like here. Yeah. Yeah, where it takes like over two years to build something. Because we have choices. <laughs> Takes time, yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Health and but safety. But then instead of 10% of the workforce dying, like 0% dies here, which That's is kind of nice. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we have a choice to re- refuse. Well, no, it's our right yeah. to it's refuse like, oh, unsafe my work. Uncle, exactly. Where'd my Uncle Roy go? He was working on the bridge. Oh, we, uh, <laughs> he fell into the concrete. He's part of the bridge now. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. Doing yeah. He's doing some OT. Yeah, he's doing some OT. What he wanted. <laughs> We're giving him three hours OT. Yeah, he's getting some OT. You'll, you'll see him in a You're couple not. months. <laughs> Your family actually owes us some money. Yeah. yeah. He didn't work the full day. <laughs> lazy. He, he so lazy. A, a lunch break he shouldn't have. <laughs> so lazy. You're so lazy. <laughs> lazy. My Uncle Roy. Oh. <laughs> and speaking of which... Um, I think they uh, they suspended the trans is it the Trans Mountain pipeline? Yeah, because, it's getting dirty. Yeah, someone got injured yeah. in BC and then someone died in uh, uh, in Edmonton or in Alberta. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, right over by the Costco on Winterburn. There, yeah. there's a there was an yeah. accident there. Guy got I crushed heard, so. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So now they're suspending it till I think New Year or after Christmas or something like that. Dang. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's the thing. Our economy's taken a kind of a shit kicking for almost three years here. They've lowered wages they've created more um competition out there with companies yeah um i'm seeing it on my site too bringing in like less and less skilled people less journeymen more apprentices cheap labor. companies yeah labor that and tradesmen that don't work necessarily in the um type of of like plant yeah. and stuff we work in so yeah you're, you're you know you're gonna get incidents you're gonna get injuries you know possibly deaths um issues with like you know meltdowns and shit and these like plans plans and stuff and it's just uh yeah it's just only kind of getting worse until they figure out something here so geez yeah everyone's trying to tell the company realizes that it's costing them more money to have yeah less skilled employees right that's what's gonna happen they're gonna be like oh shit some reason these contracts are cheaper but we're having more issues Okay, was, maybe we'll go to the more expensive contracts. And, and it actually never that never really stopped them before. But mm-hmm. like all the health and safety, OHS coming down on workers' comp and stuff. Yeah, that started to like crunch them too. Millions of dollars paying. More oh yeah, for their insurance and stuff. Yeah, but but you know more and more people are going to try to hide their injuries yeah. because of the competition. They don't want to get fired. Yeah, you know it's uh, liability or 
Or maybe the pipe wasn't coded uh, good enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Not Kyle. Maybe someone didn't code that it. pipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could just tell you were going to say something stupid. Just <laughs> 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 waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I always say stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs>